Good morning and welcome to Mary is a new evangelization.com and uh, we're here with a couple of really exciting people today and uh, right next to me to my left is Pope Francis and Pope Francis is uh, doing some serious damage to the devil okay and we have in front of me we have uh, Our Lady Mediatrix of All Graces and her beloved son Jesus Christ so anyway we're coming at you from Steubenville Ohio and I gotta give you a recap of what went down last night uh, we were out at St. Peter's Catholic Church Steubenville Ohio and they had a they hosted a, a high mass for the Catholic Identity Conference and Louis Barecchio who was the speaker at the conference was there last night so we greeted the um, the people coming in to the conference with a rosary and a message saying that St. John Bosco had a dream that um, you through the tribulation you need the Blessed Mother and the Pope and the Eucharist you can't just have the Eucharist that's not going to uh, carry you through you need the Pope and the Blessed Mother so Catholic Identity Louis they're saying you don't need Pope Francis they're saying pray for him you know but he's you don't need them that's a schism okay any way shape or form if you're saying you don't need Pope Francis you're schismatic that's what's going on okay just call it for what it is so anyway there was like eight of us okay and we we just dealt with it you know we it wasn't a warm reception but it wasn't bitter cold until afterwards uh, but anyway I'm going to put a video out it shows you us praying and the message that the Lord put on my heart to share uh, we did see Scott Hahn we saw uh, Louis Varecchio of course Father Jonas uh, Marshall Myers and Gary Lazat from the Knights of Columbus were there and uh, some friends over from uh, Greensburg but anyway we did what we did we went into the church and we participated in, and prayed at mass a Latin mass high Latin mass the homily was about Mary star of the sea follow Mary which is one-third and um, so anyway after mass I still had flyers left over so I went to the back of the church and I had printed out the dream of St. John Bosco to share with everybody. So I'm at the back of the church as people are coming out and I start handing out the, the uh, dream of St. John Bosco. At this point, Deacon Tom Medke, uh, Knights of Columbus, Grand Knight Gary Lazat, and uh, District Deputy Marshal Myers come at me and say you have you don't have permission to hand that out here Tom and I said I don't need permission to hand out a dream of st. John Bosco it's the church is already approved of that it's already approved by the church he's a saint I don't need permission to hand out Saints material at a Catholic Church so I continue to hand out the literature Deacon Tom Medke comes up in my face I thought he was a bouncer at a bar seriously comes up Deacon Tom Medke comes up in my face witnesses and tells me to stop I can't do that stop him I don't have permission to do that he said go ask Father Jonas I said Father Jonas if father has a problem with what I'm doing he can come and tell me himself I said you go ask Father Jonas Father Jonas isn't against the works of the Saints are you kidding me Everybody has got to uh, come together under Mary, the Eucharist, and Pope Francis. Okay? That doesn't even mean you have to become Catholic to be under Pope Francis. You, as a Protestant, can recognize him. 
as, as being a God-chosen leader for us in these times. Drudge Report today, Pope Francis, World War III has begun. Okay, listen to the man. Wake up. He said it's a time of mourning and weeping. He's just declared a time of mourning and weeping. So, today is the day where we remember all the unborn babies who have died through abortion. We're going to a service soon. But I'm telling you, if you guys don't have courage, you're not going to make it. There's no question about it. You're not going to make it. You've got to stop. Oh, you can't do this because Father Jonah says you can't do this. What? What kind of thinking is that? You can't. You've got to look at what the person's telling you you can't do. You don't look at who the person is. That person could, you know, I mean, nothing against Father Jonas, but seriously, there's a lot of priests who have told people not to do stuff or not to say something. And you know what? They're no longer priests, okay? You can't stifle this free speech of Mary and the prophets and the word of God and the saints and call yourself a Catholic priest. You can't do that. We had the same problem at Billy Franklin Graham. He's telling us I can't hand out pro-life material. Who do these people think they are? Who do they think they are? To stop the distribution of godly material. In the name of what? In the name of you need to ask my permission. Really? Are, are we still in kindergarten? If we're still in kindergarten, brothers and sisters, we are really, really in big trouble. This is not time for kindergarten. So anyway, I want to thank uh, I want to thank Rachel Burke, Al Brun, Sally Brun, Rachel's two lovely friends, Mark Nelson, and uh, I want to thank, uh, of course, you know the Blessed Mother and Pope Francis for uh, guiding us in these last days. So thank you so much. Um, Pray for Louis Verecchio. You know, when I talked to him after, I did talk to him afterwards. And he was nice, cordial, you know, shook my hand. Uh, but he was, think, he said, Pope Francis is doing damage. He's doing damage because he told the Muslims not to convert. Um, okay, let's see. He could have said, I want you to convert to Catholicism, and tonight you're going to have your heads cut off. He could have said that, or he could have said, you don't need to convert. Okay, pray. Pray for peace. Pray for the end to the war. All right? That's, he's talking about formal, outward conversion. You don't need to um, formally do it at this time when all the persecution is going on. But you can in your heart convert and pray for peace what he's saying so anyway louis look <clears throat> do what you got to do that's what hey that's what jesus told judas he said go do what you got to do obviously i'm not going to convince you otherwise so if, they, if your heart is hardened against him you know do what you got to do and um I just, as a brother, I just share with you as a brother, like, don't go down that road. And anyone else thinking of going down that road, don't go down that road. Okay? I warned you. You got the warning. Don't do it. Bad news. Bad news entirely. Okay, so I will um, sign off here. Check out the website, marysandnewevangelization.com. I'm getting kicked off groups left and right. The censorship is unbelievable as we deliver this message of Mary, of Jesus' chosen uh, queen, bride, wife. I mean, come on. Jesus is chosen, and her message is getting seriously censored. Catholic circles, Protestant circles, both the same. The spirits are in both churches. 
that are against Mary. All right, you heard it here.